Hello and welcome to the end time CCG and today I hit you with more nonsense <laughs> but I guess we will have also a cool video before this about everything else. Um, let's see, I am painting altars and this is a basic forest and this is Dutch from Predator. It's not my best but I'm trying to get there. Uh, personally, a, uh, a friend of mine said he didn't find this really cool, this movie references, but I do. I do. I always come back to this. Um, I'm feeling like um, this floats my boat, um, a forest with Dutch. <laughs> and I am planning to make um, a predator. And I'm planning to make a more voice and I show you what I got here. Um, let me pack out. Um, I had a very painterly week, I have to say. And it started all with um, feeling very stressed out a week ago. And then I picked up this mountain. Okay, true. Um, not my best, but it's a door of Moria. And lately I'm very much again into Lord of the Rings and into Star Wars and maybe for some reasons um, of personal development but also artistic development. Um, well, what can I say? It could have been better but it was a good study. Here I started and I tried to make the door of Moria and as you can see I will get better. Um, there I started, then I made this one and I thought, man, let's just have some fun um, painting because painting will be a part of this channel. Uh, not painting altars and not only painting altars, but also painting out artwork. I will show you in a second. Um, and if I've done it right, the previous videos will be um, the angel, the thing I drew for the uh, Chaos Galaxy TCG. And here I had this guy and I kind of envisioned um, him as Luke and then Darth Vader. The force is with you, long, young Skywalker, but you're not a Jedi yet. Uh, from the second part, the only trilogy that's real. Um, the first ones are the best. All the sequels to Milk Money, they suck. So then this was the second and uh, let me show you, um, I will probably have shown you this in the previous video, but um, again, I realized I also got back into Conan the Barbarian because like the Corona years were not so good for my body. So training, going back to be a strong Barbarian um, is really key and let me also tell you what's key for painting as long, well, as you can see, not all the colors are right. But what is key is um, kind of drawing and getting the drawing right. That's the first part, the proportions and all of that, that I can teach you, but it's not so complicated. It has something to do with the eye and measurement and it's not so complicated, really it isn't. But it takes a bit of practice and also the fundamentals, what's underneath this, uh, like the bones, the muscles, that's maybe a bit more work, but it's not complex. It's just work, memorization, um, learning to know your craft. But as you can see, putting into colors is really key, like um, drawings will be very flat if I would have drawn everything in the same skin color. Again, this is not the right skin color for uh, this ochre tone but as you can see it gives um, the character three dimensional shapes and as long as you can see okay what color am I seeing is it a white is it a yellow is it a brown is it deeper should I put in um, some black or desaturate it as long as you do that and apply it on the place where you can identify that with your eye, you're going the right way. Um, and then let me hang this again up. And let me show you then this 
was done my drawing this morning and um, as you can see this looks kind of right even though you can see it's only rough shapes and what I'm doing here is just putting in um, I was sketching it out with some very very light pencils I kind of sketched it out with this um, blue or very bright blue and then I went in with this gray and I started to put in the shapes um, not really shapes just the shadows I saw like um, on the hands and these are the Rauros Falls from Lord of the Rings as you can see the card is very small but I think it can look cool if I achieve to look like this is uh, I, I went in also with my um, pencils and or ink pen to do the Dutch but here if I can I will only use um, the brush and here um, that's from a guy I saw he drew Minas Thirid and I copied it a hundred percent just to study what he has done and to get a feeling for where to put the color so um, even if this looks kind of I don't know how does this look a guy playing with cards but it's more than that it's like learning to paint draw be artistic um, kind of this is the wet palette I use um, it's just um, a case with some water um, with a sponge and then baking pa paper I guess you call it and then acrylic paints from Gabe's workshop which I like the color but I do not like the pots they t uh, tend to dry out because um, as you can see here um, you open it it closes but then the paint starts um, drying here and you cannot close it and this gets worse till it gets to this point and at this point you can throw away the color or do it into a bottle like this and maybe you can just skip this process and go for um, a bottle like this and as you can see very artistic week um, I show you I want to do some altars for Magic the Gathering this was a cool swamp but I am very much thinking about doing a swamp um, with hobbits on it, with Gollum, with Osgiliath and uh, Lord of the Rings themed. Um, I'm thinking also about a swamp with um, Star Wars themed and I don't know if everybody likes it. I don't usually don't like to break um, the wall. I like it very magic. I, I like if the flavor is intact but um, I went a different route. I went purely fun and bonkers and I think it's cool. I think it floats my boat and yeah, this was a quick update video. If you want some altars, if you want to buy them, I will put them up on eBay and Etsy or you can write me on eBay, the email is down below. Um, if you say, man, they're too expensive or they look shitty or you should do this or that, just comment down below. I will see to it that it gets done. Um, oh, I forgot about this. If the links are not yet up, uh, wait a few days. I will set it all up, um, like making photos and checking prices on eBay. But um, I guess the the Dutch can be bought. But I don't know if I have. Uh, if you live outside, um, if you live outside Europe or Germany right now, I haven't yet uh, put it up for international sales because I have to check the shippings but I will figure it out and here I was thinking about um, this is a whole messy stuff but I was thinking here the Millennium Falcon and here the city in the clouds from Star Wars um, from also but I don't know if I like um, this as island I would have preferred this right up here um, I was also thinking about throwing this away, but I think I will just draw and paint and see where it brings me. Every painting you do um, will add to your skill or to my skill. Um, a bit off topic video.
but I th thought I wanted to share the process. See ya.